my favorite subject, heavy metal detoxification with PEMF. This is a subject that is very dear to me. I had my whole mouth full with amalgam fillings and my dentist drilled them out. I remember I was spitting out globules of, of that stuff. There was no precaution, there was no filter. He was drilling it out and then filled it with that white plastic. And shortly after I was like walking into walls, couldn't concentrate. My parents had to take me out of school. It was devastating. So I know how heavy metal toxicity feels. It's like you walk around in a fog and you can't see the world anymore. Now, it's a slow motion process to get back. And that's where I actually was introduced to PMF by Dr. Gary Gordon. He showed the whole detox process and he was the first one that put me onto a PMF and said, sit down, have a treatment and then bind us and everything. So he did the whole process with me. And that's why I'm eternally grateful for introducing me to that system. And that's why I would like to share that with you. When you have toxins, they occupy certain receptors in every cell. And usually receptors where certain nutrients go in. It's like they mimic that nutrient. It's the same electrical charge. And as soon as they block those membrane receptors, they create for one irritation on the cell. It's like, ooh, something is there that shouldn't be and the cell gets agitated and stressed out, which causes the inflammation. And if it gets inside the cell, that's when it then destroys the DNA and RNA production um, or the copying of the DNA. It influences your Krebs cycle, your ATP production. It causes mutations, irritation to that DNA repair and therefore you can get cancer cells. That's why heavy metals are actually one of the driving forces of those mutations. So by detoxifying, we need to really get rid of those toxins. And it's something, I don't know, most people just do PMF because it feels good. But if you have a heavy metal load, high load, and you can see that in some of the tests, if you do an oligo scan, or hair mineral analysis, or you do a challenging test, the DMPS uh, uh, or EDTA or whatever uh, challenging test, you can see your heavy metal load. Very important. If that's high, then it's significant that you start that process as fast as possible. So let's just say we have outside toxins, we have toxins sitting on the cell receptors, and we have already inside the cell. When they're inside the cell, we actually would like to kill the cell and destroy it and create that apoptotic effect that the cell dies and is eliminated. They die anyway. You know, like every cell divides nonstop every two hours for fast dividing cells up to two weeks for slow dividing cells. But they replicate and replicate. And that's what a lot of your poo is a lot of dead cells that are eliminated from the system. So when toxins got into the cell, we would like to expedite that process of apoptosis, which is what you do with those high intense pulses. Those heavy metals respond to that and then destroy the cell. That's why they work so well in cancer cells, which are laden with heavy metals. So again, there's a dual effect in destroying that. That's why using the um, PMF for cells that are already infected or already cancerous is really effective. Once those toxins are blocking the cell membrane, again, I need that big pulse, that big movement to detoxify, to shake those toxins loose. And then they float outside. Bing! PMF shoots them off. And then what do we do? Bind us. It is such a crucial part of the treatment just to do PMF. They go bloom out into space. And then because they are negative charged, they dog on to the next receptor that close by. They might change cells, might shift to a different area, but they're still there. So we need those long chain molecules like binders to attach to them. For those of you who really would like to have the fastest results. And I always say, 
depending on how far down I'm the track. If I would like to bring back myself fast into a healing environment, then I get rid of toxins fast, get the black box. It really is a powerful tool because it combines not only the binders, which you have in those two black jars here as the powder, you also have the bitters that support your liver, you have the minerals and nutrients and glutathione and all of that, that supports the whole detox process in your body. It supports kidney and kidney function, liver function, detox phase one, detox phase two, the skin person. It's really relevant to support all detox pathways and that's what this kit does. It's a one month, two pumps, one pump, three pumps, you know, like those little bottles. It's very nicely explained. You know exactly today, week two or week three, I use this and this, but it helps. This has changed my life from being in red, orange, red, orange, never ever going down far enough to really going into orange and green. That's my toxin levels with the Oligo scan where I can test on a daily basis. This is really helpful. And if you don't know how to combine different binders and, and, and how to do it right, this is a shortcut that is done for you and it works because it's liposomal and it's easily taken up. You'll find it on trulyheal.com forward slash black box. And if you go there, I have a whole article explaining all the different elements and why they are helpful. So just read that up and you'll get a lot of information from that. Binders are long chain molecule like modified citrus pectin, the white stuff on your citrus fruits. When you use detox clay, edible clay, you can use um, uh, zeolite AC set nano zeolite spray, which is sublingual, goes directly into the bloodstream and binds to toxins. So there's many different ways. Chlorella was used in the clinic when they did the prostate cancer treatment. They just gave them tons of chlorella and that was then binding the toxins during the treatment. So just the treatment alone will help, but it just shifts the problem around. So you still need to get rid of those toxins and that's why those binders are really uh, important. And clay is a very good component, but let's just clarify that here. Every detox binder that you take has an affinity to specific toxins that they bind better or more or less finer, uh, more coarse. So what I did in the beginning until I found my black box, it was actually using this for a week, then that for a week, then that, and I was rotating around and I had all sorts of drinking my cappuccino, as I called it, with my clay, edible clay, didn't like it at all. And then using the zeolite spray, which tastes very nice with peppermint, so it's something I did a lot more. But you can go through and rotate so that you really cover all grounds, all areas. And with the black box, you just have a lot easier game. And then you need to supplement because your body, all of a sudden, your cells are open they have membrane potential and they need nutrients. They need all the missing nutrients. Again, if you do an oligo scan, you get underneath all the minerals that you are low or have a zinc block or copper block or whatever. So you can see that and that will give you the possibility then to supplement in the right way. Again, this is crucial. Um, this is a printout of the oligo scan. So you can see here, this is a copper zinc block. You have copper way too much and that blocks the intake of zinc. It's not. You just keep taking zinc, 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 zinc until all of a sudden it switches back and the zinc is absorbed into your cell. But zinc requires a lot of uh, synergistic minerals and nutrients. You need high levels of vitamin D3 and vitamin A and B and blah, blah, blah. So very important. And you can see here high levels of mercury, high levels of silver or cadmium or whatever it is. And it depends on where you grew up, farm life, city life, um, environmental factors that all make that big difference. A lot of clinics, they use now IV, they do test beforehand, check your mineral status. Then they prepare a cocktail, which is made for you, all your deficiencies. They treat you with PMF first to open up everything 
and then they flood the body with those minerals and nutrients and vitamins and then within a short time it's like rocket fuel you really go from oh exhausted and pain and stiff to wow that's why they have such a fast recovery time in those three weeks if they would wait for the supplements to work in two or three months well they wouldn't get those results so it really is a factor if we just have a clinic starting up here they do vitamin cocktails and they test before I'm really excited I'll be the first one to book because it just gives you that added kick now what we said before is your white blood cells from before all shriveled up and lack of oxygen and lack of energy lots of fibrins in the blood to fully inflated your um, red blood cells carrying oxygen and you can see the nuclei inside the cell and they move around the petri dish like full-on active that is pushing then the healing factor getting rid of the inflammation bringing um, the healing or the repair system to to bear so very important I won't go through detail you have that on the website on the video where this page is if you scroll down you will see all the different mineral antagonists and this is something I've explained to you before zinc will block on or dog on to your cell membrane through the same um, receptor site going through as mercury for example and if you look I, I marked them in red zinc so if you have here lead blocks zinc aluminium blocks zinc arsenic blocks zinc mercury so if you have two or three heavy metals high let me just go back in this chart you can see here if you have them like yellow and red then your cells won't get that your cells won't get all of those nutrients like here in this case um, selenium zinc iron iodine iodine is a disinfectant so you really need good levels of iodine in your system that's why Asians with all their seaweed and everything have high levels of iodine lower rates of cancer breast cancer that's why you do a Lugol solution onto the breast to really absorb and get iodine in but if your cells are blocked with heavy metals it can't go anywhere so it really is a combined treatment where you then really see what's high and then you can see all the minerals that are blocked out so I just go through zinc because it's such an important and when you want to take zinc alone it doesn't really do anything so synergistic uh, nutrients are vitamin A, B6, D, E, cysteine, glutathione, um, uh, insulin, magnesium and manganese so you can see you need a well formulated supplement that will then allow you the absorption of those nutrients vitamin D is such an important it's pretty much relevant in all now if your zinc levels are high you actually detoxify lead cobalt cadmium nickel mercury far faster than without so zinc level down you can't detoxify you can't detoxify you have toxins blocking the cell zinc doesn't get into the cell it's like a devil's circle so we need to break that and that's what we do with that big push getting the toxins out binding them and then we need to supplement with zinc magnesium selenium and you can see all of those that I listed before are really crucial also during treatment before treatment and after treatment water is the solution to pollution you need to flush your body a lot of people are totally dehydrated drink not enough and drink the wrong stuff right coffee and soda and water oh no ooh, that tastes horrible is that filtered water or is that you know I don't drink any water <laughs> we're screwed up <laughs> we're really screwed up so water no matter what even out of a fountain in the middle of a city is healthier than any soda so I don't say anything about coffee if you don't drink it with milk and sugar but it certainly is an important part of the treatment flushing through flushing through you push out toxins you need to get rid of them so kidney detox liver detox really needs plenty of water again I won't go through the details again you will find that no matter what you do if you keep treating with PMF 
The results will be just like elderly, like the sports people, like animals, will be a restoration. Faster restoration, more energy, more power. And that's what we want, right? So, I got it? Yes. Next video, we'll talk about the difference between oscillating PMF and ringer high intensity PMF. And I'll explain you the main difference and that they both work, but why one works far more efficient with chronic degenerative diseases than the other. All right, see you there.